Well, hello everyone and welcome to Phone Breaker The Witcher Tales. So my let's play episode 1. Come on. Here's the start again. Them shackles off him. Poor sod can't eat proper. Dunno, I'm not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been holding him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why don't he up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's a queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Enough about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? While well, we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Oh, interesting. Obviously, this is the new game, Throne Breaker, The Witcher Tales. It's basically, I think it's based off Gwyneth, but with like an RPG twist to it, so we'll find out. Because it's based off Gwyneth, because I originally think this was supposed to be the, the side thing to Gwyneth and they made it separate. And I believe Gwyneth is now officially out of beta too, public too, it was awesome. I've got, on recording this, I have three episodes of my Gwyneth series to go, basically up to 99. My next episode to record 100, and I think what I'm probably going to do from that point on is alternate. Or do we do uh, a few, a few etc. What I mean by that is, is like uh, this week I'm going to pull up this, what you're watching now, and maybe next week and the week after I pull up the same. But then when I get to episode 100 of Gwyneth, I'll probably uh, put Gwyneth up on its normal slot, and then the following week put one of these up, and then maybe next week put one of these up, and the week after I put uh, Gwyneth up, then maybe the week after I put Gwyneth. Then maybe I do one of each. Basically, I'm going to alternate between these two. I might alternate two or three at once. I may just do one at every other. So either way, either way, either you get Thronebreaker every week in about four weeks' time, or else you will get Gwyneth. Currently, if, until I hit number 100, I will stick to this each week on a separate time, basically. So I'm going to play a new game. Okay. I, I had a quick weird thing. I turned it on initially, and I had two screens. It was on my right screen when it... None of my games took on that screen normally, so I had to basically turn it off, uh, turn it back on, go into here, uh, where was it, no, resolution, that was it, full screen, disabled it, moved it to this screen, full screen, then it crashed my OBS, was recording software, I was like, ah. then when I turned it back on with OBS, it worked fine, it done the proper screen everything, so, so if you have that little thing on the wrong screen, get the game on, it likes to disable this, when it's a window mode, move it across, re-enable it, turn it off, and then when you hit play again, it should theoretically come on this, this screen then. As long as you've moved it to the screen, obviously, to make it big. Okay, so we have basic things. English, English, Debe. We have a lot of languages. Always. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad at all. So if you any of them languages scroll through, they've got you covered. Audio. Just English. Okay, so you should, you should have our audio. Online mode enabled. Huh. Camera movement, I wonder what that means. Because surely it might play to enable that, whatever. Camera movement to turn. Camera movement on turn end. Oh, okay. Resolution, like I said, I've got that, that, that. Scale. Graphics high, it only seems to have high. There was an extra DLC, but it's only for 40k. I'm not sure if my screen classes as that. Uh, V-Sync full, I and mean, then, yeah, I guess that's fine. Primary cars on. Audio. Mute all audio, no. Music volume 10, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, I kind of. Half time in these games, these are never as loud with the headphones, so for that reason, I'm gonna put these down to five, and then hopefully this will be bigger. Privacy policy, oh, that loads up a web page. Credits, I'm sure that won't load a web page, but no, it won't. Tails is based on the the cross of, and I could never see his name, but he's the, the author of the game. Uh, game developer, etc. Okay, nice. Can't speed up now, okay, it's closed. Okay, so back. Do you want to save change? Yes. So, our options now, so that's get us quit, so multiplayer and new game. Okay, let's do... So we have a look at that quick? Um, I'm just going to have a look. Switch to Gwen after which card game this will come. Oh, okay, so multiplayer literally will turn this game off and give you... Uh, load up Gwen F. Okay. Okay, that's fine then, so new game. So we have Adventure, Battle Harden, and Bone Breaker. For players who want to sit back, relax, enjoy the story with the option to skip battles. I want to do the battle, I don't want to skip them. For players seeking a moderate challenge and an, unpack an impactful story. Okay, that sounds more like it. For players familiar with Gwyneth and ready to put their skills to test. I like playing these games, as, uh, if you watch my channel, on normal difficulty. Because to me, that's the way the developers intended it. So, uh, to me, normal's going to be battle hardened, correct? The middle one. 
So I'm going Battle Harden. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be fully Gwyneth cards. But it's supposed to be like an RPG and stuff. And I've only glanced at reviews of this. And a lot of people are saying they managed to make the RPG thing really good. So, see this works. The cards the RPG is made of a War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. I believe this is set before the, threat, the Witcher games too. The realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Yep. Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, oh, okay. but for her Still persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Hmm, okay. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, stark stiff. Like this. Be cool for this. Oh, so I just have to click. Hail, Your Majesty! Oh, that's pretty good. Delighted neat. to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope. So we're playing as her, basically. Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. I like the animation. It's kind of like a cartoon. It's pretty neat. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits. I was attended to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Oh, cool, so we'll get to pick. So this is the RPG thing, I guess. So now I've got to disappoint him. I guess she's supposed to be... I'm trying to think, because I've, I've read one or two of the books. I haven't read them all. And I'm not brilliant, as you may know. We remember into the names when they're all weird names and stuff, so... So I don't think she's been in the books. If she has, she may be mentioned. I'm not 100% sure. So, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm seeing her as some kind of like a proud type ruler who wants the best for her people. So I'm going to try and play it that way. So settle down. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. Okay. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas... It proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies round the fire. Mm. Soon, we wow. learned that as we waited for the sunset, the Just strays had snuck away, snuck away okay. rounded our positions and ridden to What's Hawksburn. Oh, at least attack you and then go to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? They stuck to all the gods. We got, we got, so, she's the queen of whatever kingdom they said to start, isn't she? So basically, we're broke. Uh, it's stolen, Your Grace. But right. I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be Your Grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, Your Grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You... Send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Hmm. Do you see now, Reynard? Oh, okay. I believe cool. I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. This kind of reminds me of the Elemental style. What I mean, Elemental, Stardock game, El uh, uh, the first game, Elemental, and of course the other games after that. The, um, I do them on my channel. The Sorcerer King and the ones before that, they've gone blank up ahead. 
But basically, look at Stardust games. They're four X games. It reminds me of them. The ground four X games, fantasy based, not, not obviously not Gal or anything. Phone break story will be full. Embarking on your adventure. I mean, it's art style as well. Obviously, not the type of game. Uh, well, to phone break a tutorial before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with basic game mechanics. We can control your character using the. Okay, click. Follow the cobblestone road to reach the next stage of your journey. Can I go different ways? Oh, I can. Okay, does it one click and she goes? Okay. Uh, is it holding it down with that passage? Or hold it here? Will she just stop there? Okay, so you hold it and she will just go. Okay, that's cool. So you're holding it down, so she go, or you can just click and boom, she goes to that spot. Oh, if you do it near her like that, she walks, pull away, she runs. Neat. You expand your army throughout the game, but to do so, you must collect the following types of resources, gold, wood, and recruits. Okay, gold, wood, recruits. Well, that makes sense. So I need that to pay them and... Um, I was gonna say what would wood be for? Pay uh, to, to pay for, well to make weapons, I guess non-steel weapons. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to fully explore the map and complete side quests. What do you do then? Oh, so like. Oh, okay. So you can get wood doing that. So is there something above them? Like, I'm assuming that's one thing. I guess he wants me to do on that. I'll just do it on that first and then this will disappear and I can look around for that ward thing. Oh, it must have that symbol oh, above it. Well, I'm walking in. So what do I do? Oh, it's the right button. Oh, okay. So if it has that symbol above it, I can interact with it then. Like, oh, this too. She has to be, oh, she has to be close to do it though. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to keep an eye out for that stuff. And I guess I can chat to these so I have to get close to them. So when I click to get close, then I have the right button Pilker. to do it. They stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. That's where it's kind of zooming out now. Rather yeah. die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Oh, nice. Ooh. Gradually, you found a treasure map. Search the area and you may just find the secret location marked on the map with an X. So, it's in front of some kind of house. Okay. Which house? Oh, look at this wood. The strays, they're called your majesty. Because they bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can't just right click to grab this. You have to actually stand, stand near it. Okay. Oh, look at the little dust and stuff and the footprint, that's cool. Oh, okay, you have to be right next to me, you don't have to be quite close. Okay. okay so I want this. Uh, how do I bring that back up? Uh, what options do I have? Um, exit, resume options, last save spot, save and exit. Oh, so I think save and exit. Uh, I know. Oh, she's freaking out. Oh! Oh, sugar, and not the mouse. Come back here. It's this. Oh, it's just that. I was wanting to bring that map up again. How close do I have to get? Mm, reasonably close. Turn in front of a house. I'm assuming that little symbol will pop up, won't it, when I get close. I'll head over here. Just want to see if I missed anything. I doubt it. I'm sure it's going to be on the tutorial, but you know, it'll be safe. I'll be a little secret I missed. Okay, so this is literally just starting to go further. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Can I move them? Oh, okay, so the screen's attached to her. So you can't move the screen around and look around, it looks like. So it's attached to her. I think it's, it's a Delabla does that. 
I'm not mistaken. Okay, so not everyone can chat with because we're just standing on it. We can't chat with them. Okay, so you want me to pass this. Oh, actually, maybe. Blocks your path to remove it. You will need to spend some of your resources. Oh. This could be where the treasure is. Or it could be the route and possibly taken. Magically, it seems someone felled a oak, an old oak, which now blocks the road. Fortunately, our wagons cannot go around it. Oh, so she's supposed even I'm walking with just her. She's supposed to resent her whole group. Oh, okay. It would be nice if it was a bit like Banner Saga, where they literally had the group behind you. But, okay. Wagons cannot go around it. How do you wish to proceed? Have the loggers sort the matter. Our soldiers should concede their strength. So I'll lose 25 gold. Get wood. Issue access to the soldiers and put them to work. I lose a soldier doing that. Huh. So I lose a soldier, but gain wood. I think plenty. Yeah. I want to find that map. I'm thinking that's the proper route. Because that seems to be like a tutorial thing. Actually, it looks like that's the only route. Because I doubt you can get in here. No, you can't. Okay, so that's the proper route. Less. This is like a little house. An X near it. There we go. Okay, neat. Oh, cool. Loot found. A, a person, apparently. Jason, you, you discovered a card that can be used in Gwyneth multiplayer game. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's something. This is supposed to add certain cards in, in your Gwyneth game. You, you, you got to account attached. That's cool. And they're supposed to get a few extra things, like premier uh, barrels and that for Gwyneth. So when I do my Gwyneth 100... I'll open them for it. I'll set them on my own. That's, I believe, about three or four episodes behind on the channel when this goes up of that. Okay, neat. Oh, X means you can't go in. Okay. Most interactive objects are marked clearly on your map, but not all. Oh, some events cannot be predicted, so you'll best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Yes? Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Want me to click? I'm assuming because nothing else happened. Oh, so this is going to be my first battle. We're using Gwyneth, I'm assuming. Meave was convinced the bandits would flee to the cover of the forest upon re 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 realizing their grave mistake. After all, no ordinary bandit would dare attack the written of a queen. Yet the strays of Sparrow were of a different breed. They held nothing sacred. Story battle. Custom. Oh, okay, what's this? Key, uh, a key battle in Memph's story. Unique cards may appear in your hand of that. Okay. Unique cards will appear in this battle. Okay. Well, let's check what to start out. So I guess there's going to be optional battles on the way. Oh, this is going to be difficult because when I've used the monster deck, aren't I? This is the battlefield. You will play your cards on the bottom half and your opponent will play on the top. Okay, so that's just like Gwyneth. The battlefield is different, but okay. You can be played on... One of two rows. Two rows? Okay, what if it's free? So less when they've gone to public, they've changed it. Or is it just specifically for this game? Because like I said, the uh, last time I played it was an open beta. Uh, obviously you're going to see the next two or three episodes, but I've done them about two or three weeks ago, I believe. So unless it's changed drastically that time period. But this could be just for the single player disc, couldn't it? I guess when I get to it in, in the hundred, I'll find out. We played on top two rolls, melee or range, but remember the abilities of some cards may be different depending on the role you play. I just realised as well, I'm still playing Witcher 3. The Gwyneth is a basic version in that, and then the new Gwyneth on Gog is the obviously up to date version, we'll have the cards are different, and now we've got this version, so I'm play three versions of Gwyneth! That's going to get confusing at some point. <laughs> Probably at the same time, I literally played Witcher 3 last night. <laughs> so, yeah. You get, okay, so melee range, but remember, the abilities of some cards may be different depending on the role. Oh, so basically, I stand up, I can place them on any role, instead of having, like, Gwyneth from Witcher, or Gwent, I will say it, from Witcher, where you have to put them on certain roles, most cards. A lot of the uh, cards from the new Gwent version, you don't. 
or there's more options with them. When this one, you, you lots of more options. Okay. So it's basically a hybrid of the original and the current version. It lasts up to three rounds. First to win two rounds wins the whole match. So that same as Gwent. Players alternate the turns during your turn. You can play only one card. You can use any number of abilities. One card, same as Gwent. Yeah, same, isn't it? Play who goes first in a match is the same. Is the same who initiated the battle. In this case, you count an ambush, so your opponent will have to first. Oh, okay, so if I start the fight, I get to, to go first. If they start it, they get to go first. Okay, that's almost better than Gwen. Because that's one thing what annoys me the most with it. It's like, okay, I want him to go first. And it always forces me. And I'm always one card behind. And they're like, uh, every time. This is a bit more of a choice, depending if you ambush or not. I'm the white of an eye from half a league away. To attack the queen? An outrage! That's cool. Strength of each unit you play adds to your army's total strength. Okay, so that's the same as Gwyneth. The player whose army has the most, so up here, uh, has the most strength point at the end of the round, will, be, will win the round. Okay, so that's the same. Some units have armor, armor absorbs a certain amount of damage dealt. Okay, that's like the new Gwyneth, not the original. I'm not 100% how much it is. I'm assuming it's free, it was all three points, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it works. I'm going to a certain amount of damage dealt to the unit. Your Grace, the yep. men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Well, this must be how many cards they have. Three, I'm assuming, and I have five, plus these. Most cards have ability of some kind. To learn more about it, select the card and read its short description. Additional information will appear if you right click on the card. Okay. Play any card. So, loyal boost seven by well, seven. <laughs> Words. Loyal boost self by five. I read this boost seven by five. <laughs> Makes no sense. Deploy damage and enemy by the number of cards on this row. Okay, so he's better to play at the end. So if they've got three, two, well, these two are there and play him, he'll, if he counts himself, I'm assuming he would, he would do three. If he doesn't count himself, he could do two. Deploy, play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. I don't know what my deck is at this point, so I guess it makes sense to play him. Uh, okay, so you click it and then you pick where to put it. Okay. None of the. I don't think these matter. Okay, that's a question. They said they do different things on different areas. Does it tell you? Feed the foes, bleed. Like he looks like he's supposed to be range. Oh, reach two. Oh, okay. So it's best to do with the reach. Okay, that makes sense. So he can basically be in the back row and reach. If I put him in the back row, he can't. Does that mean there'd be a way to move him up at some point? Reach the distance in the rows that you can target. Oh, so he can tar- Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me think. So he can target any two rows. So I'm assuming if he's in the back row, he can put both. He can only target the front row. I'm assuming that's how that works. So, so I'm assuming he can only take the here. salt of the earth. They are your grace. They follow you into fire. Thank you. You need to simply say the word. I like this. This is cool. They should add this to Gwyneth. You know, when you, you pick in your little picture, as they have some like um, Geralt there or Trees or something. Have uh, the loyalty abilities means that their own their other abilities are activated every time you use Mew's ability. Okay. Each leader has its own unique ability to learn what it is, just like the leader. Mew's ability allows her to boost a unit's strength and add armor to it. Oh, that's why he's gone up here. She has to do it. Add armor to it. She can use this ability once every few turns. Oh, few turns! Normally, leader ability leaves once a match. So that's different. To use a Mew's ability, first select her and then select one of your units. So I'll see what's to use this. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! So basically, the loyalty is what she does to him then. She so doesn't have one. Okay. Wait a minute, he said on seven. Boost by five. Was that a seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? And she jumped to sixteen. Oh, so he must have done his own and hers on top of it. Boost all ally by four. What did they say? Twelve? So sixteen? Yes, that's right. One arm, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a cooldown. Three turns. Okay, what's hers? No ability. You can make any more. You cannot make any more moves this time. To end your turn. 
We'll catch them all! Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. So they take damage, you boost. Oh yeah, because Gwen, if you normally attack them to knock their stuff down, don't you? I've not done any of that. They don't seem to have it. Oh, you do. Damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row. Hmm. So he has a copy of himself. Time I taught you some respect! Coin card ability allows him to summon from the deck copies of the cards that are adjacent to Oh adjacent to him! His abilities activate the most he has played. So I guess if I had him out, he could have done both. Okay, that's fine. Aye. <laughs> this strays took ten and run! <laughs> so he should go up on Matt because his loyalty shouldn't he boost by five. Or not. Okay, maybe it's only when she activates hers he goes up with the bit she has as well. As Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! Bombardment! Bombardment! Your opponent's uh, cards also have abilities. Be sure to read their scriptures carefully and adapt your strategy. Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. Move one unit to the row opposite this unit and damage them by one. Okay. So, I reckon... Give me a target. How many enemies can blow the target's card? So. so, you're doing... When an enemy takes damage, boost by one. So, I damage you. Yes! It's not these. Oh, it's victory enemy, is though. assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! Oh, is this round old? Because we're out of cards. When you have played all of your cards, the end turn button will turn into a pass button. When you pass, you will not be able to perform any actions until the start of your next turn. Next turn. And this last turn. Okay, so question. Can I... Say, say I only played him. Could I have passed anyway like I can with Gwyneth normally? Or do you have to play all the cards in your hand? It's on the final go on. Player whose army has the most strength points at the end of the round will win the round. In the event of a tie, both players will see victory. Probably. So I won the first round. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Four cards left. They've got three. Beginning of the second and third round, each player draws three cards from the deck. Okay. So that's different. Battle formation. Protect the three cards every time. Because, like I said, with normal Gwent, uh, you, I, I think depending on who you pick, you may draw a card each, or you may be able to keep a card on the board depending on your type. You know, if you're a monster, if you're a skeleton, or whatever, etc., etc. It's like it's part of the faction ability. Player who won the previous round will play first in the next round. Oh, cool. Player who won. So, so if I win, great. I get to play first. As long as I win, I get to play. Gives me more advantage. Because that's that's a tactic I do with Gwent a lot, isn't it? I sit there. I have to give them the first round uh, to, to get an extra card advantage to try and win second or third round. But this actually makes you think, if you're going to go first next time, you kind of want to win this round. Okay, play any cards. Okay, so we have him. Loyal boost self by finger. Deploy damage an enemy by the number of cards. So he's better with the number. So, yeah, so you're the first one to play. Makes sense. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Hopefully his background's going to change depending where we are too. That'd be cool. Um. Ching! Oh, what's this? Oh, this would be what, oh, what, what's on the thing to make up the total on the rounds. Uh, the roll, sorry. Oh, sorry, hiccup. Thing about slings, they hide well. So, they should be able to move to this one then. Abolista, your command. Oh, shh. Sugar. Okay, so that reach means two, means you can go one, two. So by putting on the back, means one, two, means I can't hit there, so he needs to be in the front row. Okay, no better for next time now. I'm a one, Oh. Lyria! There we go. Okay, so it wouldn't let me because I couldn't do his actual ability to attack. Okay, another question then. If I played him first and he's got nothing on the board, I can't play him then because he can't attack nothing if he has to attack. The chase is on! Heaven enemy takes damage, boost self. One bolt's all I need. That's what I'm damaging you. If I killed that, he would have he would, he would lost two, and he would have gained it, because he gave two, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, he did damage. I think he did two, he would have died, and he would have gone, gone up, so he would have lost like one. Okay. 
So let's just something out of nowhere. Hey. Okay, what's this? You've won two rounds in a row, which means you are the battle victor. Congratulations. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. Yeah, you're welcome. The bandit stood not a chance. No, they didn't. Thank you very, thank you very much. <laughs> victory! Oh. I like that. It's a little spin. It's <laughs> just, yeah, I beat you. And he's ass. I never. <laughs> do we trust to do with these now? Did we kill him in the process? Did it run? <clears throat> Mm, Matters yeah. seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road afore. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. Looks, we must put things mm. right. Come. The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and following in the rear... The bandits bound in chains. Oh, nice. I, oh, that's cool. After you've done it, they actually show the battle. And you get loot from it. Okay, nice. Okay, I like that. Shows where the fight's been. And so uh, this is probably about an hourish episode, because the first one. Prospect. Then I go to 15, 20 yes. minutes after that, like normal. Lyria, oh, the cool. Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why? Its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. So they your army, you must first pitch camp. Okay. Pitch camp by pressing the tent button. Oh, we get more buttons here now. By pressing the tent button on the left side of the screen. I can't see what they are yet. One's obviously the thingy. It must be my inventory or something. Look at it after when it lets me. Camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. Enter the workshop. Oh, it's just got it. Oh, okay. Workshop. Royal tent. Here you can build and, uh, and improve camp abilities, buildings. To improve your camp buildings, you must first collect the appropriate quality of gold and wood. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's what the wood's for, building the buildings. Okay. That's about that early now. What's the wood's for? For well, your journey, you definitely need access to a regional map. But to get it, you first need to improve your royal tent. Grade the royal tent to level 2. Was it to... Ah, here it does. So it gives 1,500 up on north. Was a bit higher. Provide us a map of your current region. Increase the number of trinkets Maeve can equip to free. And that one's find out later. So you have to do this one. Hold it down, is it? Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there's one. Oh, you gotta do it in this one. <laughs> Can't grade for the things that have not been graded. Provide access to a map of your current region. Thanks to this improvement, you now have access to the regional map, which you can open from the main game screen. The workshop itself can also be improved. With each subsequent improvement, you will gain access to new stronger units. Okay, so that's been upgraded. Go to the command tent to view your army. I assume it's this. Is it this? Let's make a command tent. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. This forced me to do what I want for now, but later on I will get free choice one out where I go. Loading the deck. Content, you can create units and build your army from available cards. Proving this building will increase your army's recruitment cap, allowing you to use stronger units. The cards currently in your deck are displayed on the left hand side. I'm looking at my mouse against my keyboard and I have buttons on the side, not good. Okay, so. So, Linda Banner, Fortune Tongue. So, these must be what's equipped by two, and then it says, oh, and that must be locked because he said you can upgrade to three. Uh, Renault, okay. All cards available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on the main screen. So these. So I'm assuming zero means I don't have them. I'd like a one or something to have it. You can gain access to new cards by upgrading your training grounds and workshop, as well as through certain story related tasks. Grade out cards are available but have not yet been created. You must first create them before you can include them. Okay, so these are all grayed out. So create them. 
Your deck must contain a minimum of 25 guards while not exceeding your army's recruitment cap. So my recruitment is 10... No. Oh, my min 25, so it's going to want me to create one for the tutorial. And then max... Is that what that says? Oh, that's the fuse. That's the max I can have. Okay. So each one's going to use up. 24 and it goes... Oh, okay. 25 cards without seeing armor recruitment cap. Currently, your recruitment site is at 125 points. So they're going to need these. You so much up for food in that. To create new cards. You need a particular resource. Recruits. That's at 50. You can gain recruits at concepts and posts, which are marked on the map with a helmet icon, as well as through certain story related tasks. You receive additional resources to craft a war bone card. Craft one now. Okay, where is it? This one. That's not it. Which card was it? So, that's not Warborn. Oh, there he is. Huh. It's different to the way you said other part. Okay, add. Okay, it's not working. Who else has crafted a Warborn card? So, what's he doing? Clicking it and it's coming up. Do I need to preview it? Oh, uh, preview. You have to right click to preview it. Okay. All the um, units on the enemy row by this units. Armor amount and lose all armor. Damage. Okay. Hmm, okay. The walls on wheels, they stole my idea. For 250. 250. Okay. Sure, you want to recruit? Yes. Now, just to bring them across, add them, just click. There he goes. What does it give you the food for? Oh, there, 15.5. Okay, okay, I see it. Oh, I can't do anything else. You can now view and create new cards or return to the main screen. See your journey. Okay, cool. Oh, this is how it's strength off forms. Well, these are at 11 card. Oh, okay, 11 plus. 0.4. Okay. Okay, pretty neat. Paul is making a card this stage because I'm full anyways, and the. What am I upgrading that if I can, though? You can now take a look at your other camp buildings and familiarize yourself with their functions. You can return to the main game screen. Too. Okay. So, what else do we have? Mess tent. I guess we check these out first, and then if we have enough, we might upgrade to the tent again. You can talk with your companions in the mess tent, give them a little bit of your time, and you may just learn a secret or two. So I'm going to chat with you, Grey Rider, Renard. Why well, do I reckon that name a little bit? Okay. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, Reynard. Yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Villa is not stupid to be king. It's not Westerners sitting alone. I'm Scott. Villa is not stupid to be king. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even. Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? Yeah, why not now? That delight nearly cost me my head. But... Do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim, 
and to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through, and yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. <laughs> Reginald to uh, wasn't unheard of. To, the, to end badly, that, uh, sorry. Talk of that nature could only ever result in misfortune. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently, and when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Indeed. Mm. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. The You're old welcome. sod was right about that, at least. Hm. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. So he's the most loyal here. Okay, that's good to know. Alas. I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but 16 summers to him. And is thus fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. <laughs> it's time I attended to other matters. Oh. Okay, so Grad tells you stuff. Current map, 37 minutes, quest, complete zero, puzzles complete at zero, standard battles won, golden chest found, one of ten. I think it's these golden chests that convert into Gwyneth cards for, you know, Gwyneth game. But I believe if they're still in the Gwyneth game, but you can create them if you don't have this. So they're not like unique to this and you can never have them in that, for example. I believe this just gives them you for free if you find them while you play this, where otherwise you can basically create them. So you don't miss out if you don't have this. Other than this, so far, what I'm liking, good story it seems to be. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be a really good game. Okay, so I'm going to check the drop tent. The road tent, you can view the letters and maps you've received so far. That's what I wanted to look at earlier, that map again. You've already seen it now, so matter. Received so far, as well as keys and car fragments. The road tent screen also be accessed from the main game screen by pressing the knapsack. Okay, that was a knapsack. Letters. Your Highness, our designs from Grobo have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I'm inclined. Included an engraving of design. You will be pleased with it. I hope. Certain lion inherited from King Crom. I bear a bad fangs offer stunning realism. Bad fangs offer stunning realism. And the essential sword of the Dells of Tarmir appears as if forged in the very depths of Markham. I have no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Guess I'm part of Royal Stuart. Oh, cool. Dear me, you're. Oh, I'll look at that. Okay, that's cool. Dear me. Uh, you're my gr you're my gratitude for attending the summit. With luck, we did not put off meeting any longer. From what I'm, what my men said, armies on the march are kicking up veritable dust storms across Yaga. Come what may, remember you may you have my full and unconditional support. Best wishes. Okay. So this is if I haven't, if I haven't looked down. And if guardian movements noted. Increased in if guarding activity in foothills of Arma Mountain and near Riverburn. A magistrate ambassador uh, claims routine training exercise. This is 
Number of troops, quality of equipment, indicative of wise. Recommended strengthening border forces and chuckling pilot pa pa pilots uh, patrols along it. <laughs> Report strays of Spalder. Strays of Spalder. Bandit group form left revolt. Oh, that's a group attacked me a minute ago. Uh, in dungeon of Spalder's castle. Mainly pickpockets, r racketeers, uh, cut purses, assassins. Okay, that gets a little more. Pickpockets, yeah. Racketeers, yeah. yeah, yeah. But racketeers isn't that the you give me money, I'll beat the living hell out of your scenario. Uh, cut purses, I'm not sure what that is, but assassins, that to me is super serious. Armed with slings, daggers, instruments of torture stolen from Spalon, headmen's axes, swords, hammers, cleaver, and boulder. Then common bandits attack heavily armored convoys, noblemen's mansions, unable to determine identity of group's leader. Okay. Yeah, there's that map I wanted to show earlier. So at least I can access these now when I need them. No keys, no car fragments. Take like that. So, why haven't I looked at now? I looked in there, I looked in there. Yeah, and that was of course where I sorted out my people, so let's see if we can upgrade anymore. I do have the money for this. There's a number of trinkets made can equip to free. Place where you can share stories with your commanders. I have that, so you can have to unlock this later. Command tent enables unit creation and army buildings. Use scouts to mark the locations of treasure and resources on your regional map. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Use a scale so we can find stuff better. Uh, so, get, gain one recruit after every battle won. Gain between 25 and 75 for every battle won. What's this one? Training grounds provide access to the training ground and enables you to recruit new combat units in the command center. Workshop. Construction of camp enables to create new support units. Oh, okay, it's just going to give you access to more of these things. What locked off, isn't it? This increase uh, main movement speed on the map by 5%, increase main movement speed by 15. Can that be good? But I, I think the money or the scouting is going to be more important. I think the money then scouting should be if I can get them both, that'd be great. Okay, so. I already have that camp structure requirements on Oh, what, what, why? Building quiet training grounds. Oh, I gotta have that first. Oh, ah, 2,000 to 500. Don't have the good. Okay, I guess I won't build anything else now because I think that's gonna be quite important. Well, then again, this could be. That, this might be worth doing now. Because if we can find resources quicker. I still have money. This should be better. I think that's needed. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, so leave camp. Remember that you can open your map by clicking on the compass. Rolls icon on the left side of the screen. Okay. Your primary task is marked with an exclamation point to see what awaits you next. Scroll through the map. Main quest. Golden chest. It's the one already opened though. Maybe when I find the maps it looks, shows them. So theoretically, if I didn't find that, I would have told me to go back to it. Okay. Oh wait, what's this? Scout by 50. Do you wish to send scouts to reveal more area? Yes. Holy fudge, that's good. It's cost me 50. Okay, I think that scout thing was worth it then. So there's all these in the way. Open leads, legend, battles, golden chest, shrines, loot. Oh, I just take me to the place up over here. Yeah, oh, that is pretty cool. Oh, question mark. Point of interest. Okay. So let's try if it's possible to do all these before we head to this. That one might have to do this first. Can I like click to go to it? No. So they surely highlight, shouldn't they? 
this what I pay taxes for? To be what? robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. Right, Were enough for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace. They told me, they told okay, me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, damn disgrace. Okay, did that show up on the map? Or was that him? I thought I had a hand up here. Go for a minute. Unless he was the hand. What is he trying to do? Oh, his morale can change. Oh, okay, this. Neutral morale has no impact on your cars, so I guess yellow's neutral. They're on your cars, whereas low morale lowers each unit strength by one. Ooh, and high morale increased by one. The army's current level of morale is displayed in the icon upper left corner. Needs your morale depend on your choices throughout the game to increase it. Make an offering at the Y side shrine. But remember, after victory, victorious battles, moral returns to neutral. So you must always keep an eye on it. Oh, okay. So if you win, it goes to neutral anyway. What's, how much is the offering? Oh. Okay, I was expecting it to cost me money, but didn't. Okay, that's, that's fine then. That's even better. I thought it was going to cost me money. God's have mercy. Battle. Whatever is this, Phil? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! This probably be the last battle, because I'm at 50 more minutes. I said I went about an hour ish, so this will be the last battle for this episode. Now, that's it. I'll be in the episode next week, the week after that, and then I will be doing Gwen 100. And after that, I'll be, like I said, alternating maybe two or three episodes of this, then two or three of Fingy, or maybe one every other week. Basically, doing a slot of each other, basically. Because to me, they're linked. Especially with the multiplayer, they are linked together. Who were these travellers whose bodies now littered the roadside? They had the look of pilgrims who found misfortune after crossing paths with the strays of Spalda. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving their bodies to rot under the sun. They had likely have known the stench, would attract the attention, flesh hungry scavengers, those exposing their next passers by to a horrific death. Clearly, this resolution, resolution hadn't bothered them in their slightest. Start a battle of custom death. Cars were up here, okay. See if we can win our second battle. Hopefully these will be less organised than creatures. Trophy is a unique type of card and you can have only one in your deck at a time. Okay. The trophy will automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fog in broad daylight. Oh, that's the cool. heat positively sweltering. Have we oh, to do with some manner of finish. sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must Continue. exercise. I was going to say, they're the finger ghouls um, in, in, obviously, I was going to say in The Witcher, like, those about The Witcher game, but you know what I'm saying. The ones basically get spikes to come out and then they hurt you as you attack them and you use, um, I forgot which sign it was, it was the mine sign, when you basically tell them to put the spikes away and then fight them. Your rolls are now covered in fog, which is just one of several roll effects you will encounter. Roll effects, uh, all cards on the given roll, and you can have their positive or negative consequences. Okay. Original Gwyneth, fog. We reduced it all to one. You cleared it, it went straight back to the regular thing. The current Gwyneth, uh, Fog slowly brings everything down. So, you know, if you're in 10, it might lose one at a time, so like each turn, 9, 8, etc. If you're certain monster things, it used to bring some of them out and they were like, they'll find it with Fog. Some of the monster cards. Obviously, this looks like it's going to change how it works, let's see. Later on, you will also gain access to cards that allow you to add similar role effects. Raynard, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. Oh, They're the ones it's that the come first out. I've far. seen of any such thing. Every turn on, every turn on turn start, damage the highest unit on the roll by two. Crap. Okay, so we're gonna take damage the highest one. So it's gonna be him, basically, because she's gonna boost him. Permanent resilience. Whenever Mev uses her ability, reduce cooldown. Reduce her cooldown. By one. Oh, okay. So she'll be able to use it more often. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Ah! So he's gonna take two damage every turn. 
Enemy number like two, and obviously we'll pass now. Or enter. Oh, These that's carrion good. eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first. Until that is, they and fill their spikes. guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. I was trying to read what that said. A unit, your graveyard in for a minute. Use fortune tonic to boost strength for one of units. So basically, him keep him stronger. Assume a unit in your graveyard and boost self by power. Okay, it's doing the same as it does on the Gwyneth thing, but he shouldn't have anything in his graveyard yet, so that's more important next round. Down for him. Can't use it now. Six, six. Fierce and they look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. Laria! How much do we do? Reach two damage enemy by the number of cards on the row. Oh, by the row. So there should be two. If I can kill that, it doesn't do anything. Get rid of that. And if you just consume it, you consume it one, doesn't it? Okay. Hopefully it's the memo. Ah! So fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. Oh, it's just one round this time. Okay, so these bats are one round. Oh no, it's not. They're giving me more stuff. I thought it was one round. It will stay in the battlefield between rounds because it has a resilient ability. Okay. Resilience. Okay, so resilience can let them stay. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. And the fog's gone. Beautiful. That's even better. Come down. Crud. Your Grace, you get more come. They fill their bellies, ma'am. This doesn't bode well. Oh no. Not well at all. No, I don't. We've got to knock it down quiet. One bolt's all I need. Hopefully with you, if he doesn't fill it up again, you should kill him because there's... Lastly, was that four? No, it was a five, so you took two off and you take three off. We should be able to kill that next. Uh-oh. Strong as steers they've grown. And they show no fear. It's frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground, fall back. We can't win, must minimize our losses. We are winning. I need mean, them boost all units by these. Oh, sugar. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Just like me, if each enemy leader has a unique ability. Trot. Using its ability, the enemy leader destroyed just your strongest unit and threw it to its nigger fiends as a feed, which has made them much stronger. My yeah, queen, nice. there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Oh, 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 oh. If a round isn't going your way, it, it might be best to pass your turn. That's what I was asking about before, and save your strength for the next round. But remember, you can pass only at the beginning of your turn before you have played any cards. Yeah. And we keep that card off for next time. That ain't good. But you, you start off without them super strong ones now. Ooh, a 15 now. Remember losing just one round does not mean defeat. To win the battle you must gain two. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Question. Look this there. has a cooldown. Yet another abomination. Does his? No. So they don't that say it does. Stench. My salts. So Where are my salts? You can't use it again. To successfully command your army, you should understand the synergies that exist between your cards. If you start playing war battles, immediately roll. The ability of this card becomes more powerful with each additional unit that is played in the same row. Okay. It says on the melee. What was that? I should have read that for a place, I want to read it. 
Because I have uh, the older ability can be activated manually at any time you choose during your turn, but only after enough time has passed since placing it on the battlefield. The icon at the, the bottom of the card will indicate when the ability is available. Is it that, I guess? During your turn, you can activate any number of cards that have the order ability. Most can only be used once, but the order ability of some cards can be activated multiple times in battle. Damage all units on the enemy row by this unit's armor amount, then lose all armor. Oh crud. He didn't have any armor. So I guess she needs to play to give him the armor. And what does this do? Every another unit is destroyed, damage a random enemy one. Guess I don't turn. This ain't good, this ain't good. He has no armor, does he? Whenever a card appears on this row, gain one armor. So assume he doesn't want something, the more I play, the better on the bay. Play an arrow blast on the melee row in order to take advantage of Warburn's ability, which adds one armor. Give me a target. Okay, and the fact that whenever another unit is destroyed, damage, and you random unit with one, but if you're not there, you can't do it. Ability. No, I don't want to do it on him because he's gonna bring it. That's silly. I want to do it on him because he's just gonna damage us. So no. So I'm not listening. No, that, that's wrong. Allows you to reactivate units whose order ability has been used. As a result, you can use Warbond's ability once again. I don't want to use that yet, though. I have to use him. Discipline shall bring us victory! With one charge to all units with depleted order. Now what? You want me to play it again? Fudge. Oh, you got two? Okay, so you did some both. And they didn't take any damage. I kind of want to build his armor up before I did it. I would have played this a bit differently than it let me. And I did change that thing. But if one of them was dead, he would have gained that. Your opponent has run out of card and you have a sizable advantage. Your victory is assured so you can either pass your turn, play out your glorious triumph to the very end. Yeah, glorious triumph. Abolista, your command. The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. <laughs> Just fell over. <laughs> nice. Okay, nice. Well, there's a little flash. I'm just going to zoom in a bit, though. I like the little battle things. That's cool. Oh, my beloved, please ride as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering through Modest will please the Modest Goddess, the Mother Goddess, with her blessing. We shall have a child as long last, I've no doubt. You'll make, a, make as loving a father as a husband. Please be virtual and return to me soon forever, Frank. Someone says they're not returning. Ah, so we want to quickly grab these, I'll say. And then we should, uh, we've got actually one hour, four minutes, we're going to end this. So I'll give you a little how many, oh no, I was going to say we're close enough, but that one has. Just down here, let's grab these before we end, shall we? There we go. Oh. 
you want to say anything to me? Many trees we felled, my lady. Yep. Might you have need of them, so take whatever your heart desires. Thank you, I already have. They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. We build a bridge, brick what? by brick. A one, a two, the pillar grows thick. We're near no bandits here. Not surprising neither, for we'd chase them off with our hatchets, we would. We build a bridge, okay. brick by brick. A one, a two. A two. <laughs> Discovering signposts unlock the ability to fast travel, allowing you to move between them at any time from your original. Okay, nice. That's a bit like Witcher 3. We'll see what this says. Oh, so go back to that original one. Also, oh, basically, to the scouted. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll say, I'll say I was all the way over here. Then I finally put the scout in. And that would have gone, look, over here. Ah, like, oh, sure, sure, don't want to run all the way like that. Fast travel. Grab it and then fast travel. That's not bad. I don't really want to fast travel now, so I think this is a good point to end. So how do we save? Uh, upper menu, load save, save and exit to main menu. So I'd so that should be really saved. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, tune in next week and the week after will be some more of this. Oh, we'll continue load new game with it. And of course, and like I said, when I get the, then when uh, Gwen for hundred comes out, I'll, I'll be alternating it in Gwen spots, either two or three, one or one, whatever. But anyway, I, I like this. This looks like it's going to be really fun. This, of course, you buy this on GOG itself. Uh, I believe I may have to double check. But I believe if you buy this on Gwen, if you will get Gwen automatically, I think. And at least with, with this, you instantly get extra stuff for Gwen anyway, minimum. Is it Gwen free to play normally anyway? Well, obviously you can buy extra stuff, something like that anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Basically gives you access there, as you can see. So, um, this looks gonna be a good game. So please like, please subscribe, please hit the little bell, and please tune in next week. And please keep watching Gwyneth, my, my, my series, and watching this and all the stuff on my channel. Have a great day out there. Bye, everyone.